Today, I'm trying a full face of M Cosmetics. Michelle Fawn, let's be honest, she's a dream. She is like the OG beauty YouTuber. I have been watching her for years and years and years and years. So glad she's back on YouTube. And I'm really excited to be trying a full face of products from her brand. There are some products in here that I really am excited about, but there are a couple that really disappointed me. I'm Ashley, and if your makeup routine is your favorite ritual, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I am here three times a week sharing my beauty habit with you. Let's dive in and find out what's worth it and what is not when it comes to M Cosmetics. My skin is prepped and primed and ready to go. If you're interested in my morning skincare routine, I have an entire video on that up. You can check it out. I'll put it in the eye above as well as in the description box below. Let's start with the Daydream Cushion. I got the shade Fair slash Light, which makes me a little nervous because I am fair. I am not light. <laughs> So it comes with this nice little teardrop applicator as well as the cushion. Now this is a SPF of 50 and to be honest, I already have SPF on so maybe I should not have done that, but I did so we're gonna make it work. Off of first glance, it seems very watery. You can see that it's quite sheer. You can still see the black underneath. I'm really nervous about this, you guys. I have not used a cushion foundation in a long time. pleasantly surprised thus far. I do like that this is like a teardrop so I can get, you know, into the little corners. Why did I ever doubt you, Michelle Vaughn, you beautiful genius. This has some coverage. Half of my face is done, and let me just first say I'm shocked that this is a color match. <laughs> Genuinely, anytime something is like fair slash light, that's generally a bad sign for me, but this is a really fantastic match. It also, it has some coverage to it. This is a good medium coverage. I am kind of shocked. Let's see if we can build it up a little bit. I do have a couple spots where I got extractions during my facial the other day, so they're still kind of red. Just wanna see if we can build up to cover those. Yep, wow. I'm surprised that I doubted Michelle Fawn for a moment there. I'm gonna even out my face and we'll move on to the next step. This is really lovely. I'm definitely gonna need to powder my face. I tend to have a little bit of oil production in the T-zone in the summer, so it's pretty frequent that I need to powder my face. There are very few foundations that I can get away without powder in summer. But if you do have very oily skin or a very oily T-zone, I would maybe be maybe a little bit wary because I do notice I'm having to fidget with it a little bit to get it to stick down and stay on the nose. So if you're very oily on the nose, you may have to fidget with it even more. I do think this is a really great value though, I will say, because in addition to this compact with the one cushion in the cushion puff, you also in the set get an extra refill and an extra cushion puff. So this is basically two in one. I do appreciate that and I like the encouragement to reuse the packaging. M Cosmetics does not yet have a concealer, but I have to have concealer. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer. This is from Shiseido. guys my concealer is breaking up on me that was something i was a little nervous about was how concealer was going to set on top of this cushion balm just because it is very sunscreeny and it is very emollient and i can already see where my concealer is breaking up and this concealer never breaks up on me so that is something that i'm gonna have to play around with to kind of fix now and obviously it, it kind of sucks i think i'm actually gonna have to wipe this off from under my eyes and just do only concealer sealer there without the daydream cushion under it because I'm just not going to walk around with like smudged up concealer all day. I'm just not going to do it. So I'm just taking like a microfiber washcloth with some water on it and I'm going to wipe away any product from where I want to put my concealer on. If this happens to you, you may sometimes be like tempted to get a makeup wipe. That's not what you want to do. Also, don't be frightened by how red it is. It's just because I just rubbed my skin. <laughs> you may be tempted to want to use a makeup wipe. It is a no-no because
as makeup wipes, what they use to break down makeup, that's gonna be on your skin. And then makeup is not gonna sit really well on that, obviously, because those two things are not meant to, you know, simultaneously live together on your face. So if you can, just going in with a washcloth and a little bit of water is the best bet when you're gonna go in and kind of remove product, but then put more product on top. I'm gonna smooth out the edges with my finger before I go in with my concealer again. And I'm just gonna only use concealer under the eyes right there. Because of the situation we find ourselves in, I'm gonna use my finger to blend this. I'm just gonna tap it in and kind of blend it out into the product around it so we don't have any harsh line. It's disappointing that we're having this situation, but it is a good example of how to kind of clean up these mishaps, number one. And number two, I will say that I don't think my under eye area looked particularly like super tired with just the cushion balm on. I probably could have gotten away without using a concealer. I just prefer to use concealers on a day where I'm gonna use a full face of makeup. But if I was going for like a light makeup day where I wasn't gonna do like a full on eye look or maybe was just gonna do like one shadow and done kind of look, then I probably would be good with just using the cushion balm. So I don't think it's a total bust. It's just something to be cognizant of that if you do try this, maybe make sure it works with your concealer first before you use it on a day that you're gonna be like going out and really want your makeup to look flawless. I'm now gonna set the areas of my face where I'm not gonna be putting down a cream. I am gonna be using the liquid blush, the serum blush from M Cosmetics on the cheeks. So I'm not gonna put any powder down there yet. I'm taking my Gucci powder. This is the shade double zero. I'm just gonna lightly set under the eyes and I'm gonna kind of go matte down the areas that I don't want to be super glowy, but of course avoiding the area where I'm gonna put down that serum blush. I will definitely say if you have oily skin, I don't think this is maybe gonna be the best for you, this daydream cushion, because I'm having to matte it down quite a bit. And in the summer, I do have oil production in the T-zone but the outer perimeters of my face are quite normal to dry in summer. So the fact that I'm having to kind of powder all around might be a sign that this is not going to be the best for oily skin types. I'm going to prep my lids because I want to do my eyeshadow and my brows first. So we're using the Venetian Rose Collection today. Let's start off with the Divine Skies Eyeshadow Palette in Venetian Rose. I really like the packaging of this brand. To be honest, I find this to be really quite cute. I'm going to start by going into Cherish and I'm going to use that as my transition shade. That blended out really nicely. A little bit does go a long way, but it has a nice blend. It looks quite even throughout and I found it to blend out pretty far. Next up, I'm gonna take a MAC 217 and use the shade Charm to deepen my crease up just a touch. I lay the product down kind of just on like the outer half and I'm gonna use my brush from before that doesn't have product on it anymore to just blend that out. Next, I'm gonna take Embrace on that same 217 brush and go on the outer half of the lid. When I do this, I just kind of follow the natural shape of my eye and get it right up to the crease. I'm just gonna blend the edges a little bit with that same brush. It doesn't have any additional product on it. Just wanna get the edges cleaned up. I kind of like to clean up edges between each step if I can. I find that that's just a easier way to keep everything looking nice and polished. With a firm shader brush, I'm gonna take the shade Always right here. This is like a lovely pink. I'm gonna put that on the rest of the lid. I do overlap it just a little bit so that there's no harsh line, but I kind of do the shape first where there was no product. I do that first and then once most of it's off my brush, then I go and overlap over that last shade we just laid down. I feel like I could use just a little bit more depth in the crease. So I'm gonna take the shade Venetian Rose and pick it up on a fluffy brush. This stuff I'm just going back and forth, really getting my brush down in the socket there and going back and forth. I'm not trying to blow it out or anything and rather than going like in circles or up and down I'm just gonna go side to side and that's gonna give me that little extra bit of definition that I was looking for I to mention, you can see right here around the nose and the mouth, I already feel like I need to powder again. I really feel like this daydream cushion may not be the best base for a day when you're going for like a full face of makeup because if it's doing that on me, it's probably gonna do that to most people. 
Right here, this shade Honeymoon, it looks like a nice kind of champagne shade. I'm gonna take a little bit of that on my finger and put it right on the ball of my eye just to brighten up the ball. This actually looks like it'd also be really nice on the inner corner, but we'll see, because I'm so weird, so weird about inner corner highlights. I always like to do my brows before I do my lower lash line. I don't know why. So I have two products from M Cosmetics for the brows. I have the Fine Liner Brow Pencil in the shade Light Taupe, and I also have the Micro Fluff Sculpting Brow Cream in the shade Soft Blonde. I'm gonna brush up my brows first using a clean spoolie, and then we'll go in with the brow pencil. I really like that. Those gave really fine hair-like strokes. That's really the most important thing to me in a brow pencil is to get strokes that feel really natural, really fine, and mimic the natural hair because my hair is quite fine naturally. So anything too thick is just not gonna look very natural on my brows. We all know my favorite trick for brows is to just brush the ever-loving out of them. I love these so much. I really don't want to use the brow cream. I'm going to give it a try. Ooh, I really like the way this feels. I feel like the shade of the brow pencil was good. And I think the shade of this is as well. I really like it. It doesn't feel too liquidy, but it also doesn't feel too hard. It's a good, nice middle ground. It doesn't feel like it's going to smudge up on me. <gasps> Ooh, look how fluffy those look on the inside now. Ooh, I'm here for it. All right, to finish off the lower lash line, I'm gonna take a smudgy brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Charm. I love the pinky rosy shades in this, but I tend to not like to put those on my lower lash line. I just find they make my eyes look kind of red and tired. I'll throw on a little bit of lower lash line mascara and we'll move on to cheeks. All right, for cheeks, we have the Color Drop Serum Blush in the shade Venetian Rose. I actually already owned this shade, but this all came in a set, and so I bought the set because it was a good deal. So now I have two of this shade. With the Color Serum Drops, I like to take these on the back of my hand. I never find the stoppers to work really perfect with these, but I will say I think it's kind of the nature of it, and I do like the finish of these blushes. Put a little bit on with the middle finger and then I'm just going to use my ring finger to start blending that out and up along the cheekbone. These do give a really nice natural flush to the skin because they just melt into the skin so lovely thanks to that serum formula. They do feel a little bit stickier on top of the daydream cushion that I noticed they normally do on top of other foundations. I don't find it to be too sticky though like once I'm done blending it it feels nice, barely there, no stickiness left. They do in the collection now have a powder blush. This is the Heaven's Glow Radiant Veil Blush in the shade Venetian Rose, which means we get to double blush. This kind of looks like a mineralized, like MAC mineralized skin finish. Those blushes that have that nice like glow to them. Just gonna take one of my favorite blush brushes. This is an angled blush brush. didn't lay down super evenly on top of that so on this other side I'm first gonna put down a touch of powder again the Gucci powder and then we'll see if it sets on top of that a little nicer much better I am just gonna take a little bit more translucent powder and kind of clean up this side where it didn't like go on super duper evenly I don't really love that I feel like maybe these are two products that are better to use separately which I kind of dislike to be honest I'm not in love with this veil blush it just doesn't look super natural on the cheeks the way that I really like the serum blushes because those do look so natural on the cheeks and I probably would pass 
plus on the veil blush. And again, just having to powder the crap out of my face because that daydream cushion is like, I look wet. I did pick up the Moonbeam cushion highlighter, but you guys, to be honest, like I just feel like I'm so glowy that like, I don't know that I can put any more glow on top of this. I mean, I'm gonna try it anyway, but on a normal day, if I wasn't trying out makeup for you guys, I would not dare to put a highlighter on top of this because I already kind of feel like a moonbeam. Let's give it a try. That's actually really beautiful. I think that for me, I would say skip that Radiant Veil blush. Just go with the serum blush. If you're interested in M Cosmetics, just go with the serum blush. And this highlighter is actually really nice. I think this with the serum blush would have been a hit for me, but because we went in with this like very like mineral blush type of deal, it just is a little bit too much, a little bit more than I would like. All right, let's do lips because I just, by the end of the face of makeup, I feel so funny not having lips on. <laughs> this is the Lip Cushion Tinted Lip Luminizer in the shade Venetian Rose. I have never tried one of these, so we're gonna find out. I really love that. That's actually a beautiful, beautiful lip. And I love that everything goes together. I just feel like I'm missing a lot of the balance because I feel like I look sweaty, you guys, because of that base. I mean, there's only so much I can powder this face of makeup. And again, that's probably something I should have anticipated, but I've seen a lot of reviews of like SPF cushions like this lately where people have the same problem. And keeping in mind, my skin is not oily. I have congestion like right here along the nose and I do produce oil right there but everywhere else my skin is dry most of the year so if I'm having this I feel like there are very few people that would not feel like this is like basically an oil slick on their face like this is something I feel like maybe you could get away with at the beach if you're wanting like some coverage you know by the pool otherwise I just feel like it's too too shiny. Now that the look is finished, my final verdict on everything is that the eyeshadow palette is really nice. Like if you like this color story, the formula is really good. Everything blends, very lovely. The serum blush, beautiful. Absolutely adore it. And I really like this lip cushion as well as the brow products. I think the brow products knocked it out of the park. The base is a complete no-go for me. I don't think they quite have the base down yet. It just feels overall like I couldn't really get balance and the fact that my concealer doesn't go over it very well kind of just turned me off of it. I'll try it a few more times to see if there are other circumstances in which it might work better for me but as it stands I feel like I just had to put way too much powder on my skin for this base to make sense and I still don't feel like I quite got the balance between matte and dew that I like to feel like I have like a very natural skin finish. The highlighter I feel like could be really nice, but I would definitely stay away from the mineral blush. They don't call it a mineral blush, they call it heaven's gold blush. It does seem like a very like mineral finish and I just didn't really like it. I don't think it added anything to the face. I think it would make more sense to just stick to their serum blushes and really build those up for the color. If you like one brand tutorials, be sure to check out my recent one I did on Gucci. It was one of my absolute favorite looks ever. I was so happy with how that one turned out and I have an entire playlist of one brand tutorials as well. Let me know in the comments below what full face of would you like to see next? I hope to see you there and until then you take care of yourself.